as we slowly should make we our way yeah no we did that frame. to start the year so Colton Herta very polite of you to go fastest to <laughs> open this first session so you'd have something interesting to talk about so yeah. I don't know if you saw how Colton Herta did but if you could give me your insights on how he performed this session uh, it's interesting tracks very interesting the tires that we brought are very different to what we have in the past different how um, they're supposed to last a little bit longer it's supposed to be a little stiffer so um, from what it looks like the, the reds this year are gonna more look like the blacks from last year so how that plays into strategy if two stops possible can you run two sets of reds use reds in the race um, there's a lot of unknowns but track felt fairly fast for for first session um, considering how much slower we kind of expected the tires to be yeah um, the feel of the car is good obviously we were one of the teams that tested here so we yep. kind of knew what we were bringing um, and it felt like what we tested so I'm excited about this weekend looked like teammates were pretty quick as well Romain yeah. right up there we saw Pato I believe was about fifth or so I didn't get a chance to look if there were yeah. any changes in the last couple minutes but uh, didn't see the Penske cars up there which surprised me a little yeah. bit Tell folks, I know we don't have you very long here, but tell folks about the power of choosing where to test and when, because some teams might test elsewhere and be really fast to start. Yeah. Sometimes teams like Penske might need a session or two to get there. Right, yeah, and I think it, it is super important, especially like what we see now in like the modern era of indie cars. It's so hard to roll off the truck bad and then make up, right, because everybody's making jumps every session going quicker and quicker, so it's harder to close up that gap than it ever has been. Um, so testing is super important. This is one of the places that, that everyone usually tests in the winter yeah. because it's warm enough to here in Sebring. Um, so, and it's it's close to Indianapolis somewhat, so it's easy to get down here. Um, so yeah, we chose to test here for this reason. I thought, I also thought maybe this is some place that we lacked. Um, but at, to your point, for the Penske's, they did go out really early. Um, one of the earliest cars. You know, all the rookies went. They went out with the rookies. Sure. Even though they don't have a second set of blacks to use for this session. So maybe the track wasn't quite ready for them. Maybe okay. they do have a little bit more than they showed, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Last quick question here. So we've been in this groove for a little while of one late Friday session, and then you pack a lot into Saturday. Right. What do you tell the team about what you want for the car, knowing that you have one more practice session, you're also going to want to get in a little bit of race running potentially or a feel for that too, then you need qualifying setup. What do you tell them overnight so that tomorrow morning gets you everything you need? Well, I think the biggest thing is you have to look at the temperature and you have to know kind of what you want out of the car regarding what the temperature might change, right? So whether some cars might have a little bit more understeer in colder weather, or some cars might find a little bit more oversteer when it goes to colder weather. Um, I, we typically have the same thing when it goes warmer or colder. I'm not gonna say what we have, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, so it's, it's good understanding that, you know, maybe if we're, we're loose right now, we're gonna be even looser in the morning. Um, so maybe make an adjustment judging on, off of that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of numbers to look at right now to, to judge and uh, make the car better because there is still a little bit in there for us. Even though we're fastest, we can always find a little bit and for sure there's some weak points out there. Colton Hurt has got to go get weighed so you don't get yeah. fined. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to do our uh, end of day hamburger and taco show. Hopefully a little bit longer. We can dive into it a little bit more. So. A little bit. We can talk about the movie Driven. Yeah, Dad exactly. recognized my hat. This guy still hasn't seen the greatest, worst <laughs> racing movie ever. We're going to solve that at Indy. All right, we'll speak to you on Saturday. Thanks, guys.